Okay, so in this video you're going to learn about organizational skills. So, some good habits, and these come from The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. The first one is be proactive. So what does that really mean? Take responsibility. If you know you have something coming up, you take the lead, you take the initiative. You can always ask someone a question. You don't have to wait on others. Two, begin with the end in mind. In order for you to begin with the end in mind, you have to have a plan. So in your course syllabus, you have dates. You can figure out when your up next upcoming test is. So you can go ahead and start studying in advance. You don't have to wait till the last minute. Three, put first things first. So you must prioritize. So that's ranking the order of importance of the things that are going on in your life. Four, think win-win. So if I go ahead and start studying now for the test and I don't wait to the last minute, I give myself more time, it's less anxiety on me, and I tend to do better. So that's a win-win situation. Five, seek first to understand. So we're all guilty of this where we just sometimes complete assignments. We don't really take the time to fully understand. So if you have a reading assignment, for example, you go through, you read the article the first time, then you go back and try to answer questions or make any notations that you may need for later or create some notes. Six, synergize. So teamwork. A lot of times it's easier to get things done if you have more than one person contributing. So when you're in our classes and you're working on collaborative groups, you're synergizing. So you want to make sure that you identify what your role is and that you cooperate with everybody so that the task can get accomplished. Same thing if you're studying. Maybe your friend is better at one topic in the class than you are, so you all help each other to better understand the information. Sharpen the saw. So what does that really mean? It means enhancing your assets. So maybe you're already really good at organizing your closet, but you're not so good at organizing your notebook. So you want to take those same things that you do well with organizing your closet and maybe apply them to organizing your notebook or even just identifying what you do well already because if you do something well already, you don't have to worry about practicing or improving in that area. Facts. You may think these are my opinions, but these are facts. One, getting organized and changing habits takes real effort. You're going to have to try. You may not want to, but it'll make your life easier. That gets to number two, extra effort makes life easier and more enjoyable. So it may feel like a pain to do something now, but in the long run, it'll make your life a lot easier. Three, identify one thing at a time and make an effort to improve that. So maybe I'm already good in... English and math, I need to work on my science. So that means when I'm doing my homework and then it comes to studying for tests and projects, science will come first until I can improve in that area and I can work on another. Four, change today so that you can have success, so that you can smile, you can laugh, all those things for tomorrow. So what you do today will help you for tomorrow. So here's a tip. Do not prioritize what's on your schedule. What you should do instead is schedule your priorities. So instead of just writing everything down on your calendar, you've already accepted five dates of things to do on one calendar day. So next time what you would do instead, because that's overwhelming, is to schedule your priorities. Okay, which one of those things were tutoring? Which of those things are school related or college related? And then what are your fun things? You still want to make time for fun, but they are not necessarily your top priorities. Reminder, you're not a product of your circumstances. You're a product of your decisions. So just because things aren't going well necessarily right now, maybe you're not doing well in the class when it comes to your report card or even your interim reports before you get report cards. So take that initiative and make some different chances or make some different decisions. Take a chance to do something different so that you have a better outcome. So if you haven't been coming to tutoring, that may need to be something that you schedule as a priority so that you can do better, so that you're not in the same circumstances. Just a reminder of what should be um, purchased for your school supply list or specifically for my class. 
three ring binder. You need six dividers. The reason why I'm specific to the six dividers is one for each unit. If you choose to have more than that, you need to have a minimum of six. You need to have loose leaf notebook paper and that's going to go in your binder. Pencils and um, pens, it really doesn't matter which one. Highlighters, index cards. You're going to need your index cards for your vocabulary. And then dry erase markers because we're going to be using a lot of whiteboards. So some resources. You always get a school planner at the beginning of the year. You can actually go purchase your own planner if you prefer to write things down. You have your electronic devices, your cell phones, your iPods that you can use. Two apps that may even help you depending upon if you have an Android. So check out the College Study Buddy. And then if you have Apple products, School Buddy, and this is one word. So both of these are a planner. They're going to allow you to set up your classes and put in any reminders and assignments that you have to do for homework. Take these items and get organized.